हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टी व्यू रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ सिंपल ऑब्जेक्ट इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ मैकेनिकल ड्राफ्टिंग वॉट इज मल्टी व्यू रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिस इज द डेफिनेशन द ऑब्जेक्ट्स आर ड्रॉन विथ थ्री व्यूज दैट इज फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू एंड साइड व्यू दैट वी हैव स्टडीड अर्लियर इन सम केसेस ऑल सिक्स व्यूज ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट आर ड्रॉन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज मल्टी व्यू रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड दीज आर टू व्यूज ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम फ्रंट साइड इट विल अपियर लाइक दिस एज अ रिवर्स टी एंड इन टॉप व्यू इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम टॉप दिस इट विल अपियर लाइक दिस ऑफकोर्स वी आर लुकिंग फ्रॉम इनफाइनाइट डिस्टेंस सो वी वी डू नॉट हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस प्लेन इन सच अ वे दिस प्लेन विल नॉट बी विजिबल बिकॉज इट विल कोइन साइड विद दिस लाइन्स एंड हियर दिस इज टॉप व्यू दिस इज फ्रंट व्यू फ्रंट व्यू ड्रॉ इज ड्रॉन बिलो एक्स वे लाइन्स सो इट्स अ थर्ड एंगल प्रोजेक्शन मेथड नाउ थ्री प्रिंसिपल डायमेंशंस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई विथ डेप्थ एंड हाइट सपोज दिस इज यूनिवर्सिटी इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम हियर इट्स विथ विल बी this one height will be this one so this reverse t is front view of this object if we look from top side say from here this is depth will be visible like this so this upper rectangular face is this one and these two rectangular face are this and this one similarly if we look from right side this depth will be width of its side view this one and this rectangle and this rectangle are same similarly this rectangle and is this one there are three concept concepts to obtain multi view representation of an object you can use either of these three object three uh, concepts first is revolve the object with respect to observer second is observer move around the object and third is glass box theory now what is first revolve the object with respect to observer means we have to tilt up object this is the concept revolve this object suppose this is an object revolve like this so this becomes front view right revolve in side view so we have revolved this object to the side so this becomes side view that is and this is top view we have revolved this object to draw its top view so these are three views if you look from here this rectangle and this rectangle are same and this bigger rectangle is represented by this rectangle and in top view this plane will be visible so that is over here and this plane will be visible that is over here if you look from right side this reverse l shape will be visible like this hope it's clear now observer move around second method here what we are doing this is observer he is looking from front side so this is its front view upper rectangle and lower rectangle like this so this is the front view draw this front view again observer goes to the right side moves around the right side and draw whatever is visible so this is right side view again observer has moved to the top side he see this object from upper side upar thi juve che etle a view avo dekha se a blue color no rectangle it will be visible like this so this is top view movement of observer answer will be same either object is moved or observer is moved answer is similar these are the three views front view top view and side view and accordingly uh, we can draw three views now third concept that is glass box concept now what is glass box concept so in this concept we assume that the object is inside a box of glass suppose this is box of glass and object is inside this box we open all faces of this glass after taking photograph from on each side or drawing the object on each side like this so these are the views 
फ्रंट व्यू टॉप व्यू बॉटम व्यू लेफ्ट हैंड साइड व्यू राइट हैंड साइड व्यू एंड रियर व्यू अनदर ग्लास बॉक्स कंसेप्ट फॉर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस वन सो ओपन दिस राइट साइड लेफ्ट साइड टॉप साइड बॉटम साइड एंड दिस इज रियर साइड रियर मीन्स इफ यू आर लुकिंग फ्रॉम बैक साइड द ऑब्जेक्ट विल अपियर लाइक दिस हाइट विल रिमेन सेम इन फ्रंट व्यू टू साइड व्यू एंड रियर व्यू एंड विथ विल रिम विल रियम रियल विथ विल बी सेम इन फ्रंट व्यू एंड टॉप व्यू एंड बॉटम व्यू सिमिलरली डेप्थ ऑफ दिस टॉप व्यू एंड बॉटम व्यू विल बी विथ ऑफ दिस टू साइड व्यूज दैट विल रिमेन सेम इन एनी ऑब्जेक्ट सो दिस इज द कंसेप्ट फॉर मल्टी व्यू रिप्रेजेंटेशन दिस इज एन आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट एंड वी हैव टू ड्रॉ इट्स व्यूज दिस इज अ ग्लास बॉक्स थियरी और बॉक्स कंसेप्ट इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम हियर दिस ऑब्जेक्ट इट विल अपियर लाइक दिस बैक साइड इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम फ्रंट साइड इट विल अपियर लाइक दिस इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम फ्रंट दिस लाइन विल बी विजिबल सो इट इज ड्रॉन ओवर हियर दिस काउ विल बी विजिबल दैट इज सेमी रेडियस और सेमी सर्कल सो इट इज शॉन ओवर हियर दिस थिकनेस विल बी विजिबल शॉन ओवर हियर दिस प्लेन दिस वन दैट विल नॉट बी विजिबल इन फ्रंट व्यू दैट विल विजिबल इन टॉप व्यू एज शॉन ओवर हियर दिस प्लेन सिमिलरली दिस अपर कर्वेचर शेप विल अपियर एज रेक्टेंगल इन टॉप व्यू एंड इन साइड व्यू इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम हियर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड दिस कॉर्नर विल बी फुली विजिबल सो दिस लाइन इज विजिबल दिस लाइन विल बी विजिबल सो इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड ओवर हियर बट इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड देन दिस कॉर्नर विल नॉट बी विजिबल सो इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई डॉटेड लाइन एंड दिस अपर कॉर्नर विल ऑल्सो नॉट बी विजिबल इफ यू लुक फ्रॉम लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सॉरी फ्रॉम राइट हैंड साइड सो इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई डॉटेड लाइन दिस आर the six views of this object front view top view is drawn below front view bottom view is drawn above front view right hand side view is drawn to the left side of front view left hand side view is drawn to the right side of the front view and back view is drawn nearby any side view and away from front view so front view and back view or rear view should not be drawn nearby side view should be there and this is the symbol of first angle projection method so whenever you draw any multi view representation it is compulsory to draw the symbol of projection method here another object is placed in a glass box the sides of box represent the six principal planes if you look from any side six planes are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 front rear top bottom and two sides similarly the images of the object is projected on the sides of the box like this the images are uh, projected over the box and then projections are taken as shown over here and then the box is opened like this so six views will be visible as shown over here six principal views are visible this is top view name each view one by one right hand side view this is rear view this is left hand side view and this is bottom view hope it's clear to you how to draw six views of this given object there are mirror images these are a right hand side view and left hand side view both are mirror of each other but there may be difference in types of line here say both are mirror but this line is visible in right hand side view and this line is not visible so dotted line in left hand side view so this there may be difference in types of line but the shape will be identical and dimensions will also be identical in left hand side view and right hand side view similarly in front view and rear view and in top view and bottom view so you can say here the these two so that is front view and rear view are also mirror of each other just there is a difference in types of line this line is full line in front view and this line is dotted line in rear view similarly these two lines are full line in front view and these two lines are dotted line in rear view 
same is true for top view and bottom view in top view also you can see the mirror of top view mirror image of top view is bottom view only the difference is this line this line and this line is full line in top view and here it is dotted line in bottom view now which views have the least amount of hidden or dashed lines you can identify here in front view and rear view which view is having less dotted line yes front view in top view and bottom view top view in left hand side view and right hand side view right hand side view so you have to select those views to represent the object in which least number of dashed lines are there to represent any object now fill the following dotted orthographic project projections with the appropriate line type say this is an object here dotted lines are drawn front view top view and side view are represented just find out which line will be there which line will be full line which line will be dotted line let we draw one by one fill the visible lines in the top view we start from top view so these lines are visible right these lines are visible so you can draw like this if you look from top these line are visible this corner this one that is hidden that will not be visible in top view this circle will be visible these lines will be visible this line is visible so that circle these lines should be dotted rest all lines should be full line similarly fill lines visible lines in this front view if you look if you looking from front side these lines are visible right this green plane will be visible visible over here so this is the front view of this object now fill the visible lines in to the right side view see if you look from right side the shape will appear like this draw the full lines like this only these lines are visible from right side because this corner is not visible this hole is not visible so these lines will be dotted line now fill the hidden lines into front view if you look from front these are the hidden lines in top view this is hidden line in front view these are hidden line and in side view these are hidden lines because this internal this inner corner and this inner corner will not be visible in right hand side view as well as in top view so this corner is this corner is represented by this dotted line in top view and this dotted line in right hand side view draw the center lines as shown in all the views whenever you draw any circle or any hole the center line should be drawn appropriately here notice that the small dashed cross the middle you should draw this center line in such a way that plus should be at the center at this point and there should be small plus similarly notice here the center line connects between features in the same view here center line is there here center line is there so these two center line should not be drawn continuously here you should draw a continuous line showing the features between two center lines now creating an orthographic projection decide how many views are needed to draw this object suppose this is an object of course this will be front view if you look from front side this will appear like this draw vertical projections and horizontal projections and in draw the top view by after drawing vertical projections if you look from top this object will appear like this these two corners will not be visible that is represented by dotted line by drawing by taking projections from this corner and this corner the circle will be visible in top view but it will not appear in front view so in front view the circle or this hole will be can be represented by dotted lines as shown over here now draw a line at an angle of 45 degree from with this and you can project this top view inside view to draw its right hand side this is right hand side view if you look from right side this object will appear like this this hole is represented by this dotted lines and this corner inner two corners are here that is represented by this horizontal dotted line draw center lines wherever necessary like this 
so this is final answer of this object now create an orthographic projection of this object these are the related views these are adjacent views and these are adjacent adjacent views this both width are equal this width and this height are equal and this is complete drawing of given object conclusion for today's discussion select appropriate view to be drawn as front view which should which view should be front view that we have to select then allocate other views as top view bottom view left hand side view right hand side view and rear view etc so first we should select front view and then first draw front view it is normal practice insert all necessary dimensions once only no any dimension should be repeated in any figure dimensions should be inserted in any two views as far as possible if there are six views you have to select any two views that is having least number of dotted lines and as far as possible insert all the dimensions in two views only any two view if needed you can use third view but don't insert dimensions in all six views it's a bad practice now hope you have cleared all uh, concepts related to the projects uh, the multi view representation feel free to contact for any query thanks for watching